Hey everyone, it's Hayes and two trailers for Optigami episode 13 of Miraculous Ladybug season 4 have been released. I'm sorry this took so long to get out, I wanted to wait for the English subtitles to be uploaded instead of just guessing and being completely wrong. So the first trailer does have dialogue but the second one doesn't. So I will link them both down below for you to go and watch before I spoil them all in a minute. And a massive thank you to Aiden from Cartoon Apocalypse for uploading the subtitled version. Let's analyse the clips now, starting with the dialogue trailer. So Natalie is still on bed rest and she's in her gym jams and Daddy Agrest is there and he's sat on her bed. Now I am a fully grown adult, it is completely fine to have other people sat on your bed, it doesn't always mean something. However, for your boss to sit on your bed with your PJs on, I feel that speaks volumes to how comfortable Daddy Agrest and Natalie are around each other. I'm not saying this means something, but okay, who am I kidding? This means more to me than the umbrella scene in Mr Pigeon 72. She's looking at her computer and on it we have the miraculous holders that were revealed in the season 3 finale. Only Ladybug, Chat Noir, Bunnix, Pigella and Vesperia are missing, but they obviously, you know, they weren't there. This confirms that Daddy Agrest didn't forget. Honestly, I wasn't sure all this time, but it does make sense. Memories were erased in Oblivio after the Miraculous Ladybug because memory was directly affected by the Akuma, but it wasn't in Miracle Queen. We get a flashback to that episode and then Natalie reveals she created an amok called Optigami just after. Now let's go in a bit deeper here. This reveals a lot about why Natalie hasn't used the Peacock Miraculous since. You can create an amok and keep it alive as long as A, no one destroys it and B, you don't make another amok which was confirmed in Feast in season three. So Natalie has been on bed rest as she was firstly using a broken Miraculous. However, I know she wasn't wearing the Peacock Miraculous, but does sustaining the Amok use energy? I think the answer is no, since Master Fu seemed fine even though his Amok was still alive. However, this interestingly brings us on to Emily Agrest. She is in a coma, I think, still not really sure what's actually up with her, due to the sustained use of a broken Miraculous. Perhaps she also made an Amok that was meant to survive for a long period of time, but she also kept wearing the Miraculous, which made her ill since it was also broken, since it would have taken a lot of her energy. And I'm not hinting at Adrian being a scenting monster, I don't think he is. I think the Kwamis would have been able to tell if he was, and he's interacted with quite a few now. Also, Aeon from the New York special would have been able to tell. And in Chat Blanc, Adrian destroys absolutely everything, which would have included the object his Amok is attached to, which would have killed him. Unless, of course, the Amok is on him, but I really doubt that. So back to the trailer, Natalie has been using Optigami to spy on the kids, but they're just normal teenagers, and Ladybug doesn't reveal her identity to any of them, and is careful when leaving. Optigami can't even follow her. It doesn't state this in this trailer, but has Optigami ever tried following Chat Noir too? That might have helped instead of just following Ladybug. Anyway, Daddy Agrest, after four long seasons, finally, finally, starts using his brain and decides it's gonna be a good idea for the Amok to hide itself in a miraculous when it's returned to Ladybug so it can go home with her and it's an amazing plan, well done after four seasons. Daddy Agrest, he's finally come through for us. So he rings his bestie, Audrey, and gets her to host a model award event for Adrian so the rest of the holders will show up, which is pretty genius. However, why is Marinette there? Obviously, Adrian is there to unknowingly lure the rest of his class there, but Rose and Alex and everyone else, they aren't present. If I was Max, who is, you know, supposed to be clever, <laughs> I would have noticed that apart from Adrian and Marinette, the rest of the no miraculous holders are present. Isn't that ever so slightly suspicious? Wouldn't it have been better to invite the whole class to support Adrian instead of just half of them, plus Luca and Kagami? If I was there, I'd be suspicious. But again, why is Marinette there? Did Adrian invite her? I mean, look at his face here. He likes it. Like, come on, this boy is in love with her. Don't try and tell me he's not. And then Marinette says, oh my God. Then she says, I don't want to overcomplicate things. Overcomplicate what exactly? We all saw how Adrian looked at her in Guilt Trip. What happened in episode 12 that might have made things more complicated? Maybe Marinette was just like, ah, oh, Kagami and Luca are in the elevator too. I don't want to make it awkward, but like, come on, there has to be more to it. After Guilt Trip and Mr. Pigeon 72, there has to be more. Don't tell me there's not more. 
Also, speaking of Kagami, why is she there? I'm not being rude, hear me out. But it seems that everyone is at the event to support Adrian. In Lies and Mr Pigeon 72, she made it extremely clear she was not ready to talk to Adrian yet. So does this mean they have spoken prior to episode 13 and made up? I don't know. They arrive at the event and they're all stood around waiting for Alec to present the award. And while they wait, Optigami inserts itself into the eye of a poster of Adrian, which is just freaky. The eye has eyes. Natalie can see what Optigami sees and she's linked up to Shadow Daddy, who is chilling in the toilets. How glamorous. International fashion designer and French supervillain waiting to take down his son and a random teenage girl from the bathroom. It doesn't get any better than this. So that's the end of the first trailer. Let's move on to the second one. Some scenes repeat themselves, but then we see Shadow Daddy create an amok. It's not confirmed who it is. However, Marinette, Ali and Nino look very suspicious when Alec arrives, who seems to be acting very strange on stage. And then we see Alec again cowering in the bathroom. I think Shadow Daddy kidnapped him and then made an amok of Alec to annoy Audrey to rile up as Shadow Daddy then akumatizes Audrey into Style Queen. The next shots are fight scenes and we see Carapace and Rena Rouge and I'm curious as to how Marinette gave him their miraculouses because of Optigami. Maybe Marinette already gave Alia her miraculous earlier in the episode, however Alia doesn't appear to be wearing it but she might have put it in her pocket, however that doesn't explain how Nino got his, of course, unless Alia had it as well. I don't know. Style Queen attacks Ladybug, but it appears to be an illusion of her, which frustrates Style Queen. And the next shots are of Marinette as who I believe is Lady B. It's a fusion of the Ladybug and B Miraculous, and the name seems to make the most sense according to Miraculous Twitter. She looks amazing, especially her hair. Oh my god, I love that ponytail. I'd I want it, I want that hair. <laughs> and Style Queen almost gets her, but, but Carapace makes a shield around her. There's no sign of the other heroes like Pegasus, and there's also no sign of Shan Noir. There are a lot of unanswered questions that we just don't have enough information to answer, like how does Ladybug transform with Optigami watching? Does Ladybug even know it's there? I'm assuming no, because, you know, how would she know? Why would she know? But as the Guardian, can she now send some mooks? Yes? No? I'm not sure. And while I think Daddy Aggress's plan is pretty solid for the most part, I feel like Marinette, you know, she's not blind, she would see the Amok fly into the Miraculous. Like, it's definitely the smallest Amok we've gotten so far, but you know, it's still pretty big. Like, it's not minuscule. I have bad eyesight and I'd still see it. And there is a big flaw in the plan so far about it being suspicious for all the Miraculous holders being invited somewhere when the rest of the class isn't, but also with Marinette. I'm assuming this will be explained as to why like Malen and Ivan and Nathaniel aren't there, but right now it just seems a bit odd. Octagami is due to air on the 30th of May on Disney Channel Germany. I'd love to know what you think of this episode so far. There are 26 episodes per season, so episode 13 will be the mid-season and I think it looks epic so far, especially since now Daddy Agrest, he's finally using his brain, he's finally getting it, so hopefully we're going to get some ingenious plans going forward between episode 13 to the end of season four. I'd love to know what you think and I'll see you in the next one.